You have Zoom watching you, 100 plus people. Everyone here watching you. Give us 30 seconds or less your top takeaway from what I talked about. All right, guys, so I want to say that, uh, first of all, the most important thing is to actually get into a situation where you're uncomfortable because this is where you grow and this is where you actually get the reference experience that would allow you to get to the next step and get to know yourself much, much more than all of the you know, different comfort zones that you put yourself in. And I'm a victim of that I myself. like it. Yeah. Do it again, but let's add some passion. Right. <laughs> Imagine again. It's like, say, it's the U event. Reel everyone in. All right, guys, I want you to imagine that this situation that you are in right now, this is going to be your life. That's it. That's as good as it gets. You're not going to get any better than that. And this is how you're going to fucking die. Like right now, somebody shoots you in the face and you're dead. And all of the things that you did so far, this is how you're going to experience your life. You go to heaven okay. and you're like, that's my life. Question. What would you rate your delivery scale 1 to 10? About like a 6. Okay. What's missing? Um, be more quick on my feet. How so? Uh, just be able to communicate it better and... Uh, but be more specific. Be more specific. If you're like, this is 6 out of 10, what does 10 out of 10 look like in your mind? What's different? Specifically. Uh, more passion, I think. Okay, what else? Uh, Actually telling them all about the personal experience and... Uh... No, no, let's just say same words. We keep the same words, but you'd have to do 10 out of 10 on that. I guess letting go of a little bit anxiety and pressure mm -hmm. right now in the moment. Being that. <laughs> so as I was saying, your, your passion was actually pretty good, right? Of course you could always amp it up, but it was good. You were like, uh, on the second take, you were a lot more loud, your, your movement, it was like, okay, great. But it was still a little tense. And a little like, uh... Also right now. Yes, why? <laughs> uh, I still have a res residue of, you know, a little bit neediness for a good reaction, would admit. Okay. Uh, so how are you going to overcome that right now in the moment and crush it 10 out of 10? You know the tools, I hope. What's the formula in the moment? Get out of my head and into my body. That's one. What else? So, so try that. How do you do that? Basically, do whatever it needs to be done right now for you to deliver that 10 out of 10. I guess also standing up. <coughs> Move a little bit. Right. Can I do it again? Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, I want you to imagine right now Okay, somebody comes, shoots you in the face. That's it. You're dead. Done. Okay, this is your life as it is in the moment. Pause. What would you rate that? Probably seven. Maybe okay. Better. Redo it. I want the 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay. Everybody stop, close your eyes, close your eyes right now. Okay, I want you to imagine this. You're in heaven, you're talking to God. Okay? And he's asking you, how is your life? How did it go? What experience did you have as a person? What are you guys going to be proud of? Okay? What are some things, what are some regrets that you, if you could, Go back, you would change. Pause, what would you rate that? Probably still seven. Hmm. Okay. I'd say it's a little better than the last time where you said seven. That was pretty good. So for this one here, it's yes, you can always better and polish and texturize the verbals, but I want us to focus more so on just the general vibe and delivery. Meaning it doesn't matter what you say. I don't care what you say. I just want you to say it in a 10 out of 10 way. So let's do this. Talk about your favorite ice cream flavor for 10 seconds 
in the most passionate way possible. Go. Okay, basically guys, the most favorite ice cream that I love is chocolate chip. And especially what my grandma is making, so she's making this chocolate chip with like the crust around it, it's like super, super crunchy. And then you dive into that and you eat it and it's fucking soft. It feels like a fucking orgasm. And honestly, okay. it's What would you rate it? Probably like eight. Okay. What are the tools? How do you get it to 10? All you did here is just stand up, which is good, but what else? Asking the audience questions. Nope. On your end. I want to say feel more relaxed, but I feel like I'm not going to deliver if I'm just the way I am, like always. What's blocking you from delivering or being more relaxed? Um, because normally I'm, um, how do you say it, introvert. And, uh, but what's blocking you right now from just crushing it? I guess nothing. Well, there's something, otherwise you'd be crushing it. <laughs> What's crap? What's blacking it? Uh, yes, the, the, the real answer. It, yeah. Okay, overthinking. Yeah. Overthinking what? Overthinking my delivery, overthinking my, I guess you can call it the performance up here. Mm -hmm. And uh, how am I saying things? Uh, what you're thinking about my delivery? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of this, yeah. Okay. Now what? What do you mean? With that information, what can you do? I guess uh, not give a shit more. <laughs> How? I actually don't, don't know, to be honest with you. OK. Yeah. So. so remember, for everyone here, there's the inner side, the outer side. Inner side, it's diving a lot deeper on what is blocking that from coming out. Right, well, like you said, it's overthinking. Overthinking what, right? Where's perhaps the fear? If there's like, oh, I need it to go a certain way, the neediness around it. So inner work at home, but in the moment. One, which I like what you did is, get up and start moving. All right, like, hey, get out of your head, in your body. Second one you could do is take a deep breath from the base of your spine, just internally, like immediately grounds you. Three, and this is the formula, Embrace, exaggerate, laugh in the moment. Easy way to stop <gasps> being controlled by that thing that runs you, that oh, fear or neediness. Yeah. So if you're just overthinking, you could actually embrace that, exaggerate it, and laugh at it. Like even if you just started like that, you're like, by the way, I'm an extreme overthinker, da, 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 and then you went into the story, might work. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about like how to talk about Or just laughing at yourself more, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing, it's also don't focus so much on the words. So that'd be the other big one. It's like you're thinking, okay, how do I talk about chocolate chip? Doesn't matter. No one cares how you, about your chocolate chip story. Trust me. <laughs> like no one cares. Like no one's sitting here. It's like, what exactly is his favorite ice cream? No one cares about your ice cream. Uh, I care. <laughs> you're like, except I do care. Uh, I'm, I'm actually thinking about like from the words, it's going to bring me more passion. Like the story that I will tell, I will get into it. So mm. then they would feel it. You know what I mean? Mm. Nope. Let's see this. Do you have a, uh, here, there's this uh, famous song that uh, my daughter loves called The Wheels on the Bus. Here are the lyrics. You don't have to sing it. You can say it. You can verbalize it, but deliver it with passion. Go. The wheels on the bus, they go round and round. <laughs> round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All day long. Pause. What would you rate this? Like a nine. Okay. Give it a ten. Same thing again. <laughs> same words. Same first lines. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, to, to continue. Yeah. Make, we want that ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, <laughs> beep, <laughs> beep. Beep, 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 beep. Pause. That there was 10 out of 10. Just you saying beep, beep, beep was the best you've done so far. Okay? Now, bring Actually, it in. I noticed that I smile like much more when I said Yes. It, so. No, for real. So that's the key thing too, right? Like, 
that's also embrace exaggerate laugh is it gets you one it takes away, it creates space between you and that say anxiety yeah. but then learning how to laugh at it or laugh at yourself ah, right. which you did yeah. with the beep 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 you can't say that being serious you can't be cool <laughs> yeah. saying beep 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 no one's gonna be cool yeah. saying that ah, and then a little bit of that 10 out of 10 flowed through so hey massive respect dude Thanks. give him a hand If I'm just being real at a core, it also just takes care of confidence, core confidence. No? Why is it that you don't feel confident? You're being fake. You're hiding stuff. There's that split within. You're like, don't see all that. And then there's that attachment to getting validation to validate the front, to keep it alive. If you're actually just being yourself completely, gone. No? Same with clarity of intent. Right? Letting someone know, for example, why you're saying hi to them, why you're talking to them. That shouldn't be something that you necessarily have to do. Right? It's funny, I actually posted on uh, YouTube, it was like a YouTube short, and it was uh, you know, that, that example from High Vibe, where it's like, hey, if you're at the grocery store and someone comes up to you and they say hi, and you don't know why they're saying hi to you, it's going to come off as very weird. Simply because you don't know their intention. Imagine right now, you're out grocery shopping, right? Actually visualize it. You're in like the vegetable section, you're grocery shopping, and say someone comes up to you and they're just like, hey, how's it going? I'm Julian. You're going to be like, hey, hey, so your day, your day going good? <laughs> what are you going to think? Like, what does this person want? Why are they talking to me? Let me get my, my vegetables, right? And like, so, uh, see any good movies lately? <laughs> it's going to be so weird, right? You're going to be like, well, okay. Like, all of that would actually be acceptable if they knew why you were talking to them. And all the comments are like, well then, what is it? Do you have to like say like, hey, I'm in the grocery store and I, and I wanna take you out on a date, for example. I'm like, no, that looks, no, that's not the solution, right? And again, just in terms of basic social intelligence, like what would that actually communicate? Massive low value and neediness. Why? Because you know nothing about the person. Imagine going up to a stranger, like I'd like to take you out on a date. It's like, you know nothing about me. What qualifies me? Are you just that desperate that anyone, you're like, I don't really care if we get along or not, just let me take someone out on a date. Massive low value, massive neediness. Okay, so what does it mean to actually be clear in your intent? It's when you're actually being honest. It's when you stop hiding it, right? The same as if you're interested in someone, you don't have to say, I'm interested in you. You shouldn't have to verbalize it for them to know it. They should feel it, but unfortunately, people hide that. Right? I'm going to hide my intention, and then they try to compensate where, say they're hiding their intention that they like someone, then they're like, well, I'm going to say the statement of intent, I like you. No. You can't fix fakeness with fakeness. Get to the cause, be real, and it should just be there by default. This is key. In terms of the vibe, it's go first. Go first. Make yourself feel good. Make yourself feel carefree. Whatever you want someone else to feel, make yourself feel it, and use state transference. Um, so uh, some exercises there is can you entertain yourself alone for an hour, right? If you were to just say, look at yourself in the mirror and talk for an hour, could you captivate yourself? Could you be super interested for that whole hour? Now, the answer is basically here, probably not. Uh, you could take the outer approach to fix that, right? Practice getting in touch with your sense of humor, et cetera, et cetera. But then the other one too is going deeper on the relationship that you have with yourself as always, a lot of letting go.